place so I have prepared this scene for like thruster which is just a cylinder and I deleted all the faces and then I added uh, solidify and uh, double modifier so let's see how we can uh, make it thrust open and close so what I will do what we will use is lock track constant which is pretty similar to let me delete this which is uh, similar to track 2 or dump track by the way I have already covered the dump track in my suspension tutorial so, and uh, my previous tutorial so if you haven't checked that again link is link will be in the description uh, so I will not cover the dump track in this tutorial so we move to lock track so select this one go to edit mode and then select this top edges edges with the alt and click now press shift s cursor to selection and I will add an empty over here this empty by the way let's see how it's worked before we move to our example so I will add a monkey and I will add something like anything I guess so we have this monkey and with the track to constant it will always track to this like minus g so now it will tracking like it will looking to this object but with the lock track constant it will lock the one axis like this so it will now will not look up it will only rotate around the way it's moving like if you have flag or something and you want the flag to rotate but flag will not point then you can use this and this is what we are going to use for this uh, thruster so I will select this one lock track and then I will select this empty now it's moved over here so we want to lo lock the X axis so click on the lock X and we want this to uh, to track to Z axis so I will click on minus G or maybe G so now it's tracking toward the Z axis so we can move it and it will do this by the way now what we can do we can select this by it reset the cursor to center of the origin and add one more empty I will add this sphere which will look good and I will select this bone and then I will parent this bone to the sphere so now if I scale this it will go move open and close so now hide this for now and then I will select this and then this I will go to the top view for uh, I will for now just I will move it over here so we can easily see this so I will select this both and make sure you will have in it and the pivot position is 3d cursor and then press shift D and then R and then Z I will now rotate this in this direction by 45 degree now I will press shift uh, R it will re repeat the last process so we have this and now I will do one more thing I will select all then I will duplicate this and now I will scale it so if I now scale it it will go down but if I press shift Z it will not like it will only scale it in the Y and X axis so we can do this over here then I will rotate RZ and now I will rotate it like so it should be 22.5 so now we have this and which is already parented to this bone so now if I scale it up and down we can do this by the way if you want more control over this then you can also make it push it up or down push or up like this or you can scale it 
like this.